Oh, oh, my dick. Oh, 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 my God. And a Liverpool mercy side. Daddy, sleep, kid. Oh, my God. What's happening in the fame? Hello, oh, lad. Lad. <laughs> oh, you get my shit. Yeah, I'd literally just, just walk through town. People be shopping, Come for a bevy. I didn't realise how little of a Frenchie he was as well, you know, he's little in What? He's right out there. Don't die, lad. <laughs> right to sniff him, lad. Right to sniff him immediately. We're at Otter's Pool, lad, in the, by the docks in the pool. When Lenny met Frank, lad. Frank just gets off and just... Does he just run away and run back? Yeah. Get him, lad. Get him. Oh. You're going to have big runs today. Yeah, I'm going to have to zip this up. <laughs> lad! Six hundred calories or something, lad. Oh, yeah, we're going into a school uh, local to mine, lad, in Ayton called Oldbridge. My man Dom, who I went to school with, lad, works in there, and he said a couple of weeks ago one of the kids said I was the sporting hero, lad, which always makes your day. So he reached out to me, lad, and obviously I'm never going to turn it down, lad. Going in to see kids and help them out, lad, and talk to them. So we're going into this school today just to see them and just hopefully it's. It makes some of the days, lad, it makes some of the weeks, and they're a lot happier for it. On your heels, that's it, that's a proper workout. Don't bend them legs, boys, straighten them. If you feel like you need a rest, just hold it. Don't do the dip, just hold. That's it, if you need a rest, just hold. Don't sit on the floor, don't lazy. <laughs> Time, rest. Next one's plank, lad. So get back on your cones. Everyone back on your cones, boys, back on your cones. A little circuit, lad. It was nice, nice to see, lad. Loads of them worked hard. Some of them are sitting out now for dodgeball because I've, I've, I've trained them that hard, lad. But it's nice to see. Oh. 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 I'm out. The yeah, just caught me ball and let him out. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is a sick game, you know. Everyone back here! Everyone back here! Yeah. Uh, you're not hit by a very dangerous left hook. Yeah. Uh, how That's much did that hit? It didn't really hurt, lad, you know. It looked like it hurt, but it didn't. Yeah, I'll give you a bit of homework. If you want to see me get hurt in a fight, get on YouTube, uh, Paddy Pimlet versus Stephen Martin. He punches me with a left hook backhand, and I go down. He knocks me out. He knocks me out with the first punch yeah. and wakes me back up with the second punch. And from then on, I just start to grapple, and I get my wits about me. And then with a second left in the round, I elbow him in the head and cut his head open like that much and win the fight. Well, what was it like knocking Benjamin out in the first round? Sam, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> the, best, the best thing about it was I said I was going to knock him out in the first round and I knocked him out in the first round. So like, I, I proved myself oh, right. Who was a bit met, wasn't he? Which? Michael Bisbon. Bisbon? Nah, lad, he's just, he's just having a joke. He's a man, can he? So, because he's a man clad, he was having a little bit of a back and forth with a scout, so lad, that's what we do. Go ahead, lad, have you got another one? I've got quite a few. Yes, lad. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be up past. Ah, I'm, I'm all day, lad. If you're fighting anyone past or present, you wouldn't be. You know what, I get asked that all the time. And I'd probably say Khabib, just because no one's ever beat him, and I'd like to beat him. No, oh, fair enough. I, I love doing stuff like that, to be honest, lad. All the little kids were made up to have me there, and 
it makes my day being there, making young scouts' day, you know what I mean? Especially young lads like that, that, uh, that they were all boss lads, they were all asking boss questions, they were all dead enthusiastic about it. And that, as I say, lad, that makes my week, lad, never mind my day, giving back to my own city, giving back to people in in my own area. This is Aiton, lad. It's not just Liverpool, this is Aiton, lad. This is where I'm from. And, I'll forever keep keep doing stuff like this, lad. This is this is what I was I was born to do. Five. So I've been working with Patrick now for about twelve months, um, on and off, and um, Patrick has got like an unnatural flexibility. It's like he doesn't really do a lot of stretches but his flexibility is really good. The wigs are on order as well. Paddy the body wig. We've been working on stretches as well, opening up the hip flexor. The hip flexor is really important when you're doing kicks. So obviously the flexibility, if that is really good, then the kicks are gonna be really good. Five, six, seven. Adding these kicks into me game. Everyone saw me kicking, me kicking game in the Benzamini fight, lad, you know what I mean? I hit him with multiple leg kicks, multiple switch kicks and stuff like that. And I'm just adding more kicks into my game and getting more power into them. And I don't want to be the complete package come 19th of March, lad. I can't wait to shut a good few people up. Never mind 19th of March, I'd imagine the fight after that and the fight after that. People think I'm the finished article, lad, I'm nowhere near it. I'm going to end up hurting someone badly in this UFC cage, you know? Badly. Because these kicks are so brutal, he can't actually use a lot of these kicks in his sparring, even in pro training, because they can break bones and they can, and especially the way he does it, his reverse side kicks, his reverse jumping kicks, his tornado kicks, his 360 kicks. And if someone clocked that on the cheekbone or in the temple or in the jaw, they're going to hospital. Five, are you getting this, please? Yeah. <laughs> He's looking good, mate. Hey, yeah, to be honest, lad, having a Division 1 wrestler always, no other gym in the UK can say they've got that, you know what I mean? So the gyms have got good wrestlers, but not Division 1 wrestlers, I do used to wrestle at 84 kilo. My name's Jason Blair, I'm from San Diego, California. I wrestled at the University of North Carolina and I'm out here uh, at Next Gen in Liverpool helping Paddy for his next fight, helping him with his wrestling. His wrestling's been coming great. Um, he was already a really good scrambler and great grappler, really good on the wall. Now he's even getting better in open space and with his improved striking, um, his defense on point, his setups are great. Uh, I'm excited to watch him fight six weeks out. He's only getting better every day, so I'm excited for a fight there. He's here, uh, his wrestling's unbelievable, and him being with us, lad, training his MMA, his striking's coming on, his jiu jitsu's coming on. He's going to be a world class athlete, lad, and it's great to have him in next gen with us. Been working on all sorts, lad. The good thing is, as well, he wrestles from Southport, wrestles with his right leg forward, which my opponent's going to do. So, lad, if I can take chasing down in a straight wrestling, then I can take for the Vargas down on the, uh, with strikes in because I'm setting them up with my strikes. But I, I just I can't see where Vargas stands a chance, lad. He can't grapple with me. He can't wrestle with me. Like, he can't hang on the ground with me at all. And my striking's better than his, lad. It's going to be a masterclass. It's gonna, I'm going to school him and having people like chasing here to help me and then all my teammates are that I always have anyway. Like, to be honest, for Vargas, I didn't even need Jason to come over, you know what I mean? He's getting schooled anyway, but it just gives you that extra little 10%, lad, and that's what, that's what we're here to do, lad. It's going to help me in good stead in the me camps in the future, and I just can't wait to put on a show for you all. Well. And um, I went to say September 4th, then my last fight, on March 19th, I cannot wait. Oh! oh. oh. My bad. Oh! Oh, my dick. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, my God. Oh, my banjo. Oh, that's one of the worst nut shots I've ever had in my life. Oh, my dick. It wasn't my balls, it was my cock. Oh. Oh. 
Ever even got me balls, lad? It's just like, proper banjo. Me on banjo, so lad, as I was trying to pass. I made up my dick isn't big, lad, because it would be in so much more pain. I want to get a cheat meal, lad. Fucking, <laughs> it's deserved, lad, today after that 10 mile run. So, I made my pyjamas and everything, lad, because I thought we were going to go for a drive through and the queue's fucking massive, as you can see. It's a fucking joke, lad. Another cold freeze with no ice. Lad, lad, bang on, lad. Got UFC flip flops on. Can't, like, say it's not me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is gonna go down to sleep this, you know. I cannot wait for this. Been looking at these lad for ages on the billboards. I checked the date when these goes off, lads, and they go off on the 14th of March, five days before me fight. So it's cheap meal time, lad, isn't it? Let's see what it's shan. Oh Gergens, are they mad? Yeah, it's only two, it's all good. Let me just make sure there's none on the other bit. Do you call what did you call them? Pickles. Pickles. What's it say? It's a gangster. Yeah. I'm giving it a fucking good review lad. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Uh, good, that, you know. uh, that's good, you know. I thought it wasn't going to be that good because the burger sauce on it, but the burger sauce is good with the chicken. Mm. I thought mayo would be better, but that's heavy. Oh. It's easier now than point five, but it could be a 10 out of 10, to be honest. Goes off five days before me fight. But then I've just seen in the Mackies as well, as you've seen, the double Big Mac. Is that on for a certain amount of time? That's only on for a certain amount of time, so oh, the next yeah. few weeks that might be the other cheat meal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sick. Oh, lad, that's heavy. Oh. Why did they have to do these for a certain amount of time? If anyone at McDonald's is watching this, keep these on, lad. And the double Big Macs. <laughs> because I need them both in my life after a fought. No, you don't. I reckon I could, like, lad. I reckon I could nail both of them, both large meals and yeah. 20 of them after me fight, because I'm a fat bastard. You're going to end up looking fat again. Probably longer than a week for another cheat meal, I'll see what my weight's like though. As I say, I woke up today 80.1, but I reckon I'll wake up tomorrow in the 79 is easy, because this fight camp's a 10 week fight camp. You're half need one lad or you're going to go insane. Yeah. Without a cheat meal in 10 weeks, lad, you're going to end up going around the bend. Like, I wouldn't be able to do it. Last fight camp. I got on a proper strict diet like six, seven weeks seven. before. Was it seven? Yeah, seven. Because I started ten weeks out. And like every week I'd be boss all the way through the week. I'd lose like three, four key. Mm. And then by the weekend come, I'd either get something to eat with Laura or it was me, me mate's birthday, Sam and Jack. We entered theirs and had a barbecue in their garden one weekend. I'd just come back in the same way I started the week before. So I had to rein it in. Yeah. But this time, like... What was I? I was like 87, I think I was like 86, 87 key, mm. seven weeks out last time. And now I'm 80 key, six weeks out. So, piece of piss, Sam. Piece of fucking piss. Hello, Liverpool. Mercy, Sam. Ready? Sleep, kid. <laughs>